So the way I'm going to measure out this uh, sand here is I'm going to weigh myself and then weigh myself holding the bucket. 214.6. Damn, I got to fucking lose some weight. We'll go with 260. So 45.5 pounds is what that bucket weighs with the sand. Now I have two 7 pound bags of kitty litter that are mostly bentonite clay. I got this recipe from uh, Grant Thompson of the King of the Random. So I looked at a couple of sources. Some say that you should have at most 5% clay, while others say up to 11. Now, it's really up to you how much you want to add. Um, but just make sure that it's the correct percentage, of course. So I guess I'm going to go with a probably a 90-10. Let's do 92-8. 92-8 sounds like a good number. It doesn't because it doesn't roll off the tongue. But... Now I have my kitty litter here and I'm going to be grinding this up until I get at least... Um, 92% sand and 8% clay. Um, by weight, I don't know off the top of my head, but I'll just run it through a calculator and have that done. 3.632 pounds is what I'm going to need for the clay. All right. Let's get started. This is going to suck. So I did not anticipate how long this was going to take by hand. I really don't recommend it because 15 minutes gave me one singular ounce of fine powder. So I recommend buying a blender at a secondhand store or a thrift store. Um, this will really speed up the process. And So, that took a little bit. I already got some of the clay mixed up in here, but I got uh, about a pound in here so far. I already got the other two and a half already in the bin, but you're gonna want a big bin so you can mix it all thoroughly. Um, they say you should add them at different times and then shake it up in a, in a barrel, but I just had a big container that I could pour it all in and then uh, mix it up by hand. Good idea to wear a respirator when doing all this. Put just a tiny dab of charcoal in there. Heard it, heard it helps, but uh, didn't have that many sources on it, so I don't entirely know if it's super helpful or not, but I added it in there. Now we just gotta mix the whole thing up and we should be done. Ah! See if it really works. We're gonna grab a little spray bottle. Very lightly dust it. It'd hold even better if you hammered everything together, so that should do it. Well, that's today's tutorial for how to make green sand. This uh, recipe is not at all original. Like I said earlier in this video, recipe is by Grant Thompson over at the King of the Random. Thank him for this recipe. And uh, yeah, I'll be using this stuff very soon. So, 
You'll get to see what I make out of aluminum. All right, that's enough for today. Thanks for watching. My name is Nikolai Vasilievich. Peace out.